Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to read text missing data into R. Now, there's no doubt about it when we're dealing with very, very large data sets, uh, a problem for data analysis will be missing values. Let me take a look at the sample file I'm going to use in this particular video. Uh, I have it open in Excel, it's a CSV file, and this is data that I've made up. Um, so I've got 10 records in here of on 10 different dates. Uh, states are listed, uh, the code for each state is listed, sales figures are listed, and finally we have revenue from those sales. But you can see, and, and I've made these figures up, and you can see though that there is a missing code on line 5, and the CO for Colorado is missing, and also there is a revenue figure missing here as well. And this could be due to um, user in error input or values not being available. There are many reasons why data are missing in data sets. And we, as data analysts, we need to be able to find these records with missing data so that we can deal with them uh, appropriately. So let's go back in now and read this data file in. And so let's run this line four and display the results. <clears throat> so we can see here, when we look at the output, that uh, our missing value for code is left as a blank but our missing value for revenue uh, has the letters NA inserted into it. Now, the reason why there's an NA here is that R recognizes that the revenue variable is a numeric variable, um, but nothing is added in to the code, which as you can see is a character or text variable. The letters NA could in fact be a, a, a code, it could actually have a meaningful thing here. So R will put NA where there is a numeric uh, blank value missing, but it will not do so when it is a text variable. So we need to be able to um, figure out what to do with this particular variable. So if I do something like, um, so we can see that it's, um, uh, if I do want to display the code column, so let me do, do that, sales data to see if there are any missing values in it. Sales data, I should use square brackets, um, blank for row, comma, and then three because it's column three. If I display column three on its own, we can see it'll display all the text values in that, but that there's a blank value there in the center, so we can recognize that something is missing. So while that's, this is an easy way to see if there are any missing values, um, like uh, I've only got 10 records in this data set here, but imagine if there was a thousand or a million, uh, you would be a long time looking, scrolling up and down for them, and this would be a, a slow and cumbersome way of trying to find um, a missing value. We can also use uh, the is.na function to see uh, that this is a function that checks for missing values. So if I check for sales data, dollar sign, uh, in this case here, code. Okay, so if I'm looking to see are there any NA or missing values in the, in the code variable, if I run that, we can see that it's not picking it up. Okay, it's saying there are no NA values in any of the uh, 10 rows of data here. So despite the fact that there is a missing code in line four, um, it, it is not being recognized as an NA, therefore R is not picking it up. So how do we deal with blank values like this? Well, the way we do it is that I'm going to reread the um, code, I'm going to reread the data set and display it again. So I'm going to copy these two lines and then I'm going to make one small change to it. So I'm just copying and pasting lines four and five. And I'm going to add in an extra parameter at the end of the line here. So I'm going to put in a, a comma at the end and just move down to the next line to give myself some space. And I'm going to use a parameter called na strings. So na dot strings um, is equal to. And all I need to do is use the com combine uh, function to display uh, nothing, just two inverted commas. And uh, this will this will strip out the blank uh, and replace it with an NA value. So now I'm going to rerun this code to re read the file in again. And this time I'm going to use the print um, uh, function to display the variables. And we can see we still have our NA for the missing numeric value. But now you can see that the NA has been inserted in the code column for the missing value on line four. And you can see that it is recognized differently from the NA for the revenue figure. Again, that's because the revenue is a numeric variable and the code is a character or text variable. So rather than just putting the letters NA on their own in there, they are bound by these two open and close um, brackets uh, that you see here on line four. So now we have a way of uh, reading in text variables 
and inserting something that we can then use at a later stage if we want to um, deal with that missing code. So for example, uh, when we go to deal with line number four, uh, we have all the variables in there uh, and we know that the letter CO are the state code for Colorado. So we could find a way to replace that NA with the letters CO. We can also, uh, now if I recheck for is NA, is dot NA, uh, and my data, sales data, and my dollar sign code. So you remember from before, we got all false values. So this time, if I run it, we will see that on line four, we are getting a true value being returned. So now uh, we are recognizing that there is a missing value in the, on line four or on the uh, code variable. And we can now then go ahead now and we can perhaps remove that record um, or uh, in, uh, replace the, the, the missing code with the, the, the correct letters. So that's how you uh, read uh, text into uh, missing values into R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.